Well, as an investor, you have talked about the future, uh, the importance of agriculture. Could you explain why agriculture is so important? Why are you so optimistic about the Dr. Ha, agriculture is extremely important and it has been for centuries, for millennia. We have to have clothes, we have to eat, uh, so we desperately need agriculture, always have and always will. Other industries may come and go, but agriculture will always be here. The problem in the world right now is agriculture has been bad for 30 years and therefore we're running out of farmers. The average age of farmers in America is 58, in Japan it's 66, in Canada it's the oldest in recorded history, in, in Australia it's 58. I mean the statistics are terrible. The highest rate of suicide in the UK is in agriculture. Many Indian farmers have and are committing suicide. At the same time, young people do not go into agriculture. More people in America study public relations than study agriculture. So we're running out of farmers. Now the price of food and agriculture has to go up or we're not going to have any farmers at any price. That's not going to happen because obviously we're going to have farmers. We always have and we always will. So I find agriculture extremely exciting here in 2014, 2015, and the future's great. Well, uh, the second question is, uh, as you mentioned, currently the young generation uh, would like to work in the f uh, financial sector yes. and uh, become an uh, investor like you. But unfortunately, uh, nobody wants to work in agricultural sector. I know. Uh, what would you advise on to the Korean young generation? Well, first of all, uh, agriculture has been a terrible business and that's why they don't want to go into it. They see stockbrokers driving Lamborghinis mm -hmm. and farmers struggling mm -hmm. and working hard all day. When that changes, when the farmers start driving Lamborghinis and the stockbrokers start driving taxis, then they will understand, aha, mm -hmm. the world has changed and the money is now in agriculture. You cannot tell people they must go to work in agriculture. It will not work. Uh, people who love agriculture will go there and make huge fortunes eventually. Now, I cannot tell 22-year-old kids <coughs> you're going to get rich in agriculture because they don't want to go into it. But the ones that do want to go into agriculture should go into agriculture. You can tell them, I can tell them, that it's going to be extremely profitable in the next 10, 20 years. Then maybe some of them will go. But eventually, as you see the, the farmers getting rich, then young people will go into agriculture. When I went to Wall Street, nobody wanted to go to Wall Street. It was a backwater. That changed and everybody wants to go to Wall Street now. That will change for agriculture too. Well, as you said, uh, the world population, population will grow very rapidly, but uh, food production does not uh, keep, keep, pace, keep the pace, right? So that, uh, I heard that you mentioned uh, agriculture is underinvested, despite its uh, importance. Uh, could you tell me the, uh, I mean, may I ask uh, which part of agriculture did you invest? Could you tell me some? I own all, all sorts of agriculture. I mainly own agricultural products, mm -hmm. but it depends on what you're interested in. You could be farm uh, tractor companies or seed companies or fertilizer companies mm -hmm. or become a farmer mm -hmm. or own land and rent it to farmers. Mm -hmm. There are many ways to invest in agriculture. If you don't want to in invest in traditional things, you can go and go to the farm area and open shops because the farmers are going to be rich. And so the shopkeepers in the farm areas are going to be much more successful. There are many, many ways to open restaurants in the farm areas. There are many ways to invest in agriculture. You mean all the agriculture-related industry? Anything to do with agriculture is going to prosper, just as in the past 20 years, anything related to shares and investing has prospered. In the future, it's going to be in agriculture. Korea's agriculture is very small size, family farm, right. is uh, compared to large size corporate farm in the United States. Well, um, can we, Korean people have such the same hope 
about the future of Korean agriculture? Korea, get out a map. Korea, compared to the United States, is a very small country. Korea, South Korea is the size of Indiana, which is one state, one small state in the U.S. So no, you're never going to be like Australia or Argentina or Canada, but you can have big and prosperous farms here again. You've had rich farmers in the past in your history. If you read, you, I know you know this. Go back, it's coming again. They're going to be rich farmers. Korea's uh, food self-sufficiency ratio is very low compared to other OECD member countries. And uh, what is your, your advice regarding uh, supply and demand in terms of food security? Well, the b best thing you can do is uh, open the border and unify with North Korea, then you'll have lots of farmers, lots of farmland, cheap farmers, and you'll produce a lot more food. I expect that to happen. It's not going to happen today. I wish it would because it would be good for Korea and certainly good for Korean agriculture. What you have to do is to take off all the controls that exist on the Korean economy, let farmers have their head. Farmers are smart people. They can make money if you let them. Often there are too many regulations and controls and subsidies and tariffs and protection. Just let agriculture open in Korea and you would do a lot better. And if you have to, in the meantime, give farmers incentives. I'm usually not in favor of incentives, but if you, as a temporary thing, if you need to give people tax incentives for agriculture, do it. People will respond. They always do when they have incentives to make more money. Well, Korea is uh, quite strong in advanced technology, such as IT and uh, semiconductor. And, but it is true that uh, we are lagging behind when it comes to agriculture. Uh, to strengthen the agriculture, Korea's agricultural industry, uh, what effort should we make in terms of policy setting? Well, as I said, you should make it an open market, a free market. Forget all the subsidies and, and controls and regulations. But you also have to remember, Dr. Hu, that you know, Korea, the geography, is not the best in the world for agriculture. You have to compete with Argentina and Australia and Brazil and America and Canada, huge countries with lots of have hectares. But you can have an open market and do better than you have been doing in the past. And you can join with North Korea. Their agricultural land is not great either. They have even more mountains than you do. But still, you could do better than you're doing now. And as I say, if you have to, give incentives for agriculture and people will respond. Okay. Give tax incentives. Okay. Well, how could you uh, define the uh, agriculture in the future in one sentence or in a word? Riches. 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 Yes. Riches. Lots of money. Lots of money. Could you add some more? Experience? The farmers are going to be very rich. Their spouses, their children are going to be rich. Mm -hmm. People are going to want to be, have, have farms. The farmers are going to have cars and houses and uh, dresses and suits and mm -hmm. just about anything they want. Mm -hmm. There have been times in the past when farmers have been extremely rich in Korea and in other countries. Those days are coming back. Mm -hmm. coming back. Yes, they are coming back. <laughs> when do you expect those days coming back? Yeah, soon. It's, it's starting to happen in some places already. Mm -hmm. It's going to be much more in the future. Uh, and certainly in some countries, it's already starting to happen. So make sure your children know how to drive a tractor. Mm -hmm. And you should learn to drive a tractor. Mm -hmm. And everybody you know, everybody watching this show, mm -hmm. should learn to drive a tractor. <laughs> okay. Thank you very, very much. Thank you.